Is Obsidian better than Tick Tick for taking notes? It's a question I've been thinking about for some time, and if you've watched my channel at all over the last couple of weeks, uh, it's something I've been contemplating. Uh, and I think Obsidian is better for taking notes than Tick Tick. So in this video, I'm going to tell you two reasons why, and I think there's only two at this point, why Obsidian is better for taking notes than Tick Tick. And as an added bonus, I'm going to give you one reason why I think Tick Tick might be better for taking notes than Obsidian. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so I'm pulling up my screen here, and what you're going to see is kind of a start page of Obsidian, and it's asking us to either create a new vault or open a vault. And so this leads me to point number one of why Obsidian is better for taking notes than Tick Tick. So what is an Obsidian vault? Let's go ahead and create one and, and see what it does. So it says create local vault, give the vault a name. I'm going to call this demo vault. And then we pick a location for the vault. So we're going to browse. And so I'm just going to create a new folder right here in my, uh, in my main user folder. I'm going to call it demo vault. And then I'm going to select this folder. All right, so we've given our vault a name and we've picked a location for it. Now we're going to go ahead and create. And so now we have our new vault on Obsidian. All right, so why is this good? Uh, because we are picking a local folder on our computer. So if you noticed, we created a brand new folder on our computer. There were no files in it when I created it. Uh, but now let me open it back up just with uh, File Explorer on Windows. Here it is, Demo Vault. And one more time. All right, now you see this welcome.md plus another Obsidian folder. So this is actually the file that we're looking at. So all of the files and all of your notes that you create, that you modify, um, everything is stored locally on your computer, on your hard drive. We never once logged into Obsidian and everything is stored locally. So. Why is that good? Well, it's good for a couple of reasons. One, it's offline, right? You never have to connect to the internet if you don't want to. All your notes are readily available without any internet use. Now, I don't know about you, but my internet provider seems to be having a lot of trouble these days. And I don't know if it's because of the location uh, that I recently moved to or what the deal is, but having my notes offline is actually, um, it's, it's very useful. But the second thing is, it's not stored anywhere, right? It's not stored somewhere on somebody's servers. I know, and I've talked about it in other videos, um, you know, there are some concerns with Tick Tick and, you know, where the servers are located. But, you know, I've mentioned before that there's there should be concern with any app that you use. And so by having your files locally, you don't have that concern, right? You don't need to be concerned with where your files are at because you know exactly where they're at. They're right here on your computer. All right, so I'm just going to rearrange these windows a little bit and demonstrate how this works. All right, so I've got my Obsidian window over here to the left side, and I've got my um, File Explorer over here on the right side, and I'm just going to create a new note in Obsidian. So you've already noticed that there's an untitled file that was created, but now I've called this new note, and I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter. And now you see that it's renamed new note. So I'm just kind of demonstrating and, and kind of proving my point that these are all stored locally. Uh, let me just go one step further. So just adding some text here. So let's say that I, for whatever reason, don't want to use Obsidian anymore. You know, maybe something comes up where um, the CEO is a bad person. Uh, I know that's happening right now with WordPress. And I, I use WordPress for my personal site, so, it's, so I'm kind of following that story along. But let's just say, for example, that that happened with Obsidian. And I don't want to use Obsidian anymore. Well, I've closed Obsidian now, and I still have my files on my computer. And I can just as easily open with Notepad. And let me drag this over. 
So here you see new note and it says this is a new note for YouTube demo purposes. And so it has any text that I have written in my note. And so that's another added benefit of having your file stored locally is that I don't rely on Obsidian. If Obsidian goes away, I still have all of my notes. All right, so how does that compare to TickTick? Well, let me drag TickTick over. Rather than a vault uh, in TickTick, you would probably create a list. So let me create a new list and I'll call it notes list. And since I'm going to use it for notes, I will change the type from task list to notes list. And then I'll go ahead and add. So here is my notes list. It's kind of like my vault and I can add a note, new note, and I can just as easily write the same sentence I wrote on, in Obsidian. All right, so the same note exists in both TickTick and Obsidian. Uh, the difference is that this note doesn't exist necessarily anywhere on my computer. So if I lose internet access, it's possible that TickTick might have some stuff stored offline. I just did a test recently and it did seem like if you had something up and you go offline, I, I just changed my computer over to airplane mode and you pull TickTick up, you still have access to that. So I guess there's some offline capabilities, but I wouldn't trust it necessarily, right? So I wouldn't trust that you have access to all of your notes offline in TickTick because it's designed as a cloud service where you're retrieving your notes from the TickTick servers. Also, since it's on the TickTick servers, you wanna be careful on what sort of information you store out here because you don't necessarily know where those servers are located at for TickTick or, <laughs> or any other app. But with Obsidian, where it's stored locally, you do know where it's stored at. And then kind of the third and final thing regarding this point here is that any images you copy and paste in here to TickTick uh, in your notes or any files that you attach, you won't be able to retrieve even if you do a file, even if you do an export of all of your tasks and notes. And I showed that in a previous video as well. Whereas with Obsidian, you don't even have to do an export. You don't have to request anything. It already exists right on your computer. So it's already yours. You own it, you know exactly where it is. You don't even have to use Obsidian to open it. All right, so that covers point number one on your notes being stored locally. Point number two on why Obsidian's better than TickTick for note taking is note linking. So there is some note linking capabilities within TickTick. And let me just show you real quick on what that is. So I have a new note. I'm gonna create a second new note. Let me just call this note lawn maintenance. And let me rename new note. Let me call this one um, household maintenance. All right, so let's say for example that I have this household maintenance and I want to kind of link to subcategories or subnotes. So I'm gonna have lawn maintenance, I'm gonna have maybe springtime maintenance, fall maintenance, something like that. So let me come in here, I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna create a bullet point. And let's say I want to now link to lawn maintenance. Well, there's no way that I can easily, just from my keyboard or from this note, link to lawn maintenance. There's no option to pull up your existing notes and say, I wanna to link to this note. Now in this case, it's fairly easy because I've only got two notes in here and it's, per it's a pretty empty system. Uh, and I can just as easily come over here and right click on this and say copy link. And that copies the link to lawn maintenance and I can paste it in here. And now I have the link to lawn maintenance. And let's say I wanna come down here and go to spring maintenance. I can't generate a note from this note, for example. I can't you know, link to spring maintenance yet because spring maintenance doesn't exist. And you'll see once I switch over to Obsidian that it makes it a lot easier in this sort of thing. So in TickTick, I'd have to go create spring maintenance, I'd have to go create fall maintenance, and then I'd have to right click on each of them and copy the link and then paste it over here. It's all doable, uh, but it's a pain. Beyond that, if I go over and click on lawn maintenance, I don't have any idea that this is linked from household maintenance, right? So if I'm reading through my lawn maintenance note, there's nothing that indicates to me that there's another note that links to this note. I don't know if that's important or not, but it seems like it might be. So let's go over to Obsidian and see how it's handled there. All right, so I've got my new note pulled up. I'm gonna rename this household maintenance and I'm gonna delete this and create a bullet point. Now from here, you can see, I don't even have my lawn maintenance note created yet, but if I just hit a double bracket, 
this allows me to create a link, which I can then create a note from that link. So let me just show you. I'm gonna type in lawn maintenance and hit enter. All right, now you see that this is a hyperlink sort of thing. And if I click on this, watch on the left side over here in this notes list. Once I clicked on it, lawn maintenance is created. And I can go ahead and you know write whatever lawn maintenance I have. And kind of going back to the other thing that we talked about, how can I see if there's any notes that link to this note? Well, there's a couple ways. One is to come up here to the uh, expand button. And this gives us a couple of different options here, but one of them is backlinks. And so that's what's currently selected. And so by backlinks, it means other notes that are linking to this note. And we can see right away, household maintenance is linking to lawn maintenance. So from here, you could just double click household maintenance and it'll take you right to the note. All right, so another way, and, and this is probably, if, you, if you're unfamiliar with Obsidian, but you've seen anything about it, you've probably seen the graph. It's kind of fun to look at. I don't know how useful it is in the long run. I'm just getting started on my Obsidian journey. So I still have, you know, a small number of notes compared to some folks that have, you know, thousands and thousands. But um, over here on the left side is the graph view. So the welcome note is sitting out here and you can kind of move this stuff around here. So let me drag this welcome note off to the side. Uh, that's linked to a create a link, which is prompting me to create a note or generate a note just like I showed you where we generated the lawn maintenance note from that link. Uh, but coming over here to the left side, household maintenance is linked to lawn maintenance and same is true uh, vice versa, right? Lawn maintenance is linked to household maintenance. And so the graph view kind of shows you that visually and it gets more interesting the more links you make, right? So for example, let's just go make a link from household maintenance to welcome. Let me just pull up the household maintenance note. I'll just come down here to the bottom and I'm gonna put a double bracket. And another thing you'll notice, we didn't see this over on Tick Tick, right? But by putting the double bracket, it immediately pulls up any existing notes that I have. So you can kind of see all the existing notes that I have. And even this create a link, which is not necessarily a note, but a link, it pulls that up as well. And then as I type, it sort of filters it down, right? So if I type in a W, now we only see welcome and also lawn maintenance because there's a W in that. Let me just go ahead and type a little bit more. And welcome is the only one. I can go ahead and hit enter and enter again. And now I have a link to welcome. So I can click on that, take me over to the welcome note. And then going back to the graph view, we can kind of see that those are linked together now too. The household maintenance is linked to welcome. Household maintenance is also linked to lawn maintenance still. So again, the graph view is kind of a cool visual way to see your notes and how they're linked together. All right, so those are the two main reasons why I believe Obsidian is better for taking notes than TickTick. -Tick. Now, I know a lot of folks that watch my videos also use Obsidian. So if you have other reasons why you think Obsidian might be a little bit better for taking notes than TickTick, -Tick, feel free to leave a comment. I'd be interested to hear uh, your thoughts on why you think Obsidian is better uh, than TickTick -Tick for notes. But let's end this with one reason why I think TickTick -Tick might be a better solution for notes than Obsidian. And... This has a lot to do with the type of note, honestly. And so Obsidian, I think, is absolutely fantastic for long-term notes. Now, for short-term notes, or things that I need to rapidly get off of my brain, forward stuff out of my inbox, uh, my wife's talking to me about a grocery list, I think TickTick -tick is the better tool in those cases because it's just so quick. It captures things easily, especially on the mobile app. So if you've ever looked at the Obsidian mobile app, I believe that that's one place where it's really lacking. So I haven't found myself using Obsidian on the mobile phone very much because it just seems like it's not very useful. It's not very user friendly and it's hard to navigate. <laughs> Every time I try to navigate, I, I, I go the wrong way and I close the app. <laughs> so anyways, especially mobile, especially for what some people refer to as fleeting notes, you know, things that may not last forever. Maybe you don't want to keep them in your personal archive forever. You just want to jot things down, you know, like a sticky note, like uh, something comes up and you need to, to write it down quickly. Tick Tick is the, is the way. And there's so many different ways to capture notes within Tick Tick. So not only is the mobile app quicker and easier, uh, but there's also things like the global keyboard shortcuts where you can just hit a keyboard shortcut from anywhere on your computer and it brings up a new task or a new note forwarding emails in from any email address into TickTick. -tick. All those things make TickTick -tick a better capture tool for quick notes. 
Well, that's all for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.